The Tiger Who Came to Tea Reimagined by Judith Kerr and me, Lauren Crace. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mum in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mum panicked. Who the heck would that be knocking on at this time? She said. Well, it can't be the milkman because we ain't got one. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because, well, they shut that down after they opened that 24 hour Asda. And it can't be daddy because, well, he's on a um, training day down the beer keller. Mum got the baseball bat from under the bed. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. Mum fainted. The tiger said, well let us in would ya? I'm well hungry. Don't suppose I could have tea with ya? Sophie's mum was still unconscious so Sophie said, why not? Come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mum was now conscious, but stood frozen in the corner. Would you like a ham cob? She said. But the tiger didn't take just one cob. He took all the cobs on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. And he still looked hungry, so Sophie passed in the cheese straws. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one cheese straw. He ate every cheese straw in the pack. And then he ate all the Krispy Kremes and all the sour cream Pringles until there was nothing left on the table. So Sophie's mum said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the double concentrate squash and all the out-of-date peppermint tea in the cupboard. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all of the Heinz tomato and cream soup that was cooking in the saucepans. And all the Petit Falou in the fridge. And all the Haribo and Percy Pigs in the naughty drawer. And he drank all the milk and all the pop and all Daddy's mucky beer and all of Mum's gin. And then he said, Tar for me an iced tea, I think I'd better go now. And he went. Well, Sophie's mum said, I just don't know what to do. I desperately need a stiff drink, but the tiger has jad all my drink. And Sophie found that she couldn't have a wash because the dot. And Sophie found that she couldn't have a wash because the tiger had pooed in the bathtub. Just then, Sophie's dad fell through the front door. So Sophie and her mum told him just what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and how the tiger had drunk all the drink and Sophie's dad rolled his eyes. I know what we'll do, he said. Oh, I've got a very good idea. It's two for one curry night tonight. We'll put on our coats and we'll head down the spoons. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their free radio stations on and they walked down the road to Weatherspoons. And they had a lovely tea of chicken tikka masala, rice and a pint. In the morning, Sophie and her mum went down the big Asda and bought lots of things to eat. And they also bought a double Yale lock and some floodlights in case the tiger should ever come to tea again. But he never did. Well, that's the end of the tiger who came to tea. Reimagined. I hope you all enjoyed it. Now, get your teddy bears. Get your PJs on. Get yourself tucked up in bed. And don't worry too much because they did catch the tiger in the end and he's back at Dudley Zoo. So he shouldn't come knocking on your door tonight. Good night.